നവംബർ ട്വൽത്ത് ട്യൂസ്ഡേ ലൂക്ക് സെവൻറ്റീൻ സെവൻ ടു ടെൻ ചിലിയൻ ലിറിസിസ്റ്റ് ഗബ്രിയല്ല മിസ്റ്റർ നോബൽ പ്രൈസ് വിന്നർ ഫോർ ലിറ്ററേച്ചർ ഇൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഫോർട്ടി ഫൈവ് റോട്ട് ഡോണ്ട് അലാവ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് ടു ബി ടൈ ഡൗൺ ബൈ ഈസി ടാസ് ഹൗ വണ്ടർഫുൾ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഡു തിങ്സ് വിച്ച് അതേഴ്സ് ഷൺ വേർ ദർ ഈസ് എ ട്രീ ടു ബി പ്ലാൻറ്റഡ് യു ഗോ ആൻഡ് plant it where a mistake is to be made up for you go and make it up where there is a burden which other shy away from you go and take it up you be the one who removes the stone from the street who is us the hatred and tensions that prevent two people from sitting down and solving their problem in today's gospel jesus is reminding us that we must live and work as servants of god in whatever we do we must put god first that all praises honors and thanksgiving must be given to god for he alone is the source of all things that is good in reality we are nothing without him and all that we have including our time talent and treasures come from him as servants of god we do what we are told to do without complaints and without any expectation of receiving compliments from men we serve to please god not men we live by his truths standards and morals yet in reality we displease him every now and then by our constant self idolatry we often seek and serve first ourselves and forget to serve him and others that is why we are unprofitable servants unworthy to even receive any compensation yet we know that god is gracious merciful and generous he has sent his only son jesus christ to show us what servant leadership is all about in jesus we see the ultimate model on how to please god may we all look up to him for guidance and ask him to help us become like him the question for us may be are we content to do what we have to do many of the activities and responsibilities of daily life are mundane and boring activities and chores yet if we do our work well and in a pleasant manner we can be satisfied that we have been responsible servants often the work we do may never be acknowledged by anyone however if we have worked hard and done our job well 
we will have the satisfaction of having been a good and faithful servant what more can we ask jesus will recognize that we have been a faithful and responsible servant and jesus will reward us is in this enough for us wishing you a good day father paul csr from kerala